I have a message. You're in love. You've been in love. You will be in love. I have a strategy to present to you that will help you preserve it. Before I tell you about the strategy I've developed, uh, I'd like to share a personal story with you. During my postdoctoral training, I had a professor who was very, very cerebral, and he knew Freud's works, uh, even the footnotes, and Freud's footnotes that had footnotes. So I was kind of lazy, and I didn't go to the library. Instead, I called him on a Saturday night, no less, and told him about my discovery. He told me that was done, that idea was conceived 100 years ago by S. Freud. Well, I could tell you I've learned a lesson from that. And I've done research for over two and a half years, and I've come up with what I believe is an exciting original formulation that I call couple intelligence. You've heard of IQ, of course intelligence quotient. Couple intelligence, when measured, yields a CQ score. There are 11 components of CQ. I'm going to give you a brief overview of three of them. The first is called the love cycle. The love cycle incorporates three phases the romantic phase, discovery phase, and recovery phase. The romantic phase, we all know about. The violins are playing, the sex is the best, your friends are terrific, I love your family, etc. So, the red flags that were there during romantic phase start to surface in the discovery phase where you really learn about each other and your style of communicating and dealing with conflict. Now, if you get through that phase of discovery, you enter the recovery phase, which ironically means you've recovered from discovery. During recovery, there are new challenges. There are health issues, financial issues. Uh, perhaps a, a new child is on the scene and the old stuff starts coming up once again. Presumably, at that point, you have the tools and the proper mindset to navigate all three cycles. Another component I want to present to you, I refer to as no-fault conflict. Most conflict impasses, I propose, are co-created. What I mean by that is that each partner contributes to the impasse. This notion takes away from the entire win-lose mentality and the quote-unquote blame game which we see in private practice all the time. Finally, the third component of CQ I refer to as couple think. Now, rather than explain the concept, I will compare it to me think with several examples and the difference will become obvious. Me think, quote, I am the provider and I contribute more than enough. Besides, I'm tired. Couple think, quote, I am happy to help you with the children even if you don't ask. Me think. Quote, I have little interest in hockey and do not want to go to the game. Couple think, quote, of course I'll go to the game. You went with me to the ballet. So that's basically the idea. So shifting from me think to couple think is not a simple thing. But in the book, Return to Harmony, Conflict Management for Couples. I present ideas how to make that shift so that conflict is minimized and impasses are fewer. Those are only three of the 11 components of couple intelligence that are discussed in my book, Return to Harmony. Now, 
I have formulated an instrument that measures couple intelligence. And you can take that test, it's self-rating, in the appendix of this book. And what it will do is it will tell you your strengths and weaknesses in your ability to relate to an intimate partner. And you can take and retake the test at any time to reinforce the gains you have made. I am hoping this video encourages you to read my book and as a result, be able to navigate the love cycle with renewed confidence and optimism. I started over once again Much smarter now than I was then The ups and downs that help to make us grow The late night talks The closeness that we know The romance is such a wonderful ideal this time I get where love is real This time I trust where love is real